In this second video about tank circuits and how they oscillate, this time I want to show the sine wave along with the oscillation of the tank circuit. Also, I'm going to go through uh, two circuits that have oscillators using tank circuits a tube circuit and a transistor circuit. Here the sine wave is being built in the positive direction and when we get to positive peak it's going to reverse polarity as the magnetic field collapse and start charging that capacitor in the negative direction and when it reaches zero the line the capacitor is charged as negative as it's going to get and now it is discharging building the negative peak now it's going to reverse again the magnetic field is going to collapse and now the capacitor is being charged in the other direction and when it reaches the line it is as positive as it's going to get. Let's watch this a few times. Now of course this is with positive feedback and with positive feedback we would actually get something like this. But now with just the tank circuit what would actually happen is something like this. That tank circuit would wind down and eventually stop oscillating. So with positive feedback into this tank circuit, which means it's given a little bit of a push at the right time to keep it going, the oscillator will continue to oscillate. And this little clip is showing one complete cycle. Here is a wiring diagram of a tube radio and it uses a tank circuit as an oscillator and I'm going to highlight the parts that we need to look at for this oscillator and if we go all the way to the right you'll see a resistor and a capacitor that is goes to ground and the other end goes to a triangle. The resistor and capacitor is the bottom connection of the tank circuit and the triangle is the cathode current path. And that dot 2 microfarad capacitor is going to be our RF path for the oscillator for the tank circuit. Now if we go to the left and take a look at that tank circuit we can see that uh, the tuning capacitors are grounded and we go to the top of those we've got a, another capacitor dot zero two microfarad capacitors that's another RF path in other words that capacitance is so high that dot zero two and that dot two microfarad capacitor is so high that it might as well be a wire at RF frequency now the coil for this tank circuit you can see that it is tapped and uh, down at the bottom it goes to that uh, triangle well that triangle is connected to that capacitor and resistor okay now how this is going to start oscillating is when 
the radio's turned on and the tube starts to warm up, current is going to start to flow through the bottom part of that coil up through the capa uh, up through the uh, cathode and the plate of that 12 be6 now the bottom of that coil that magnetic field is going to expand and the way these are built is those few turns are probably on the inside of that coil in other words all the other coil is on the outside so that magnetic field is going to expand through all those coils and that's going to induce the energy needed to get that oscillator oscillating. Now at the top of this tank circuit that, inf that uh, frequency is going to be passed through that dot zero 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 one capacitor up to the control grid of the 12 BE6. So that signal is going to control the tube and of course when it gets up to positive peak as we saw earlier it can only go so far and then it's got to go back in the other direction in the negative direction but the tube cannot conduct in the negative direction so I'm going to animate this here and what happens is the current through the cathode of the tube and that uh, few coils at the bottom of the tank circuit is going to conduct when the peak is going positive giving it a little bit of shove very similar if you were to uh, push somebody on a swing in other words you know you give them a little push they go up and back and then you give them a little push again and that will keep this tank circuit oscillating This is a wiring diagram of a transistor radio. And this part of the diagram is the oscillator for the radio. So we'll bring this up and take a closer look at it. This part of the oscillator is the tank circuit that tunes the oscillator. And all the way to the right, that dot zero five microfarad capacitor again is a RF path for the tank circuit. Now the feedback for this circuit is the bottom part of the coil and the signal gets sent through that dot zero zero one microfarad capacitor to the base of the transistor controlling which controls the transistor. But in this configuration, both the positive and negative gets impressed upon the base of that transistor. I hope you found this information useful and thanks for watching.